Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. On the Common tab of the Format Editor dialog box, you can set many options that will always be available for selected fields. You can type a name for a single selected object into the Object Name text box. This name, which can only consist of letters and numbers with no spaces or special characters allowed, is used for object referencing in various parts of Crystal Reports, such as the Report Explorer and the Repository Explorer if you're using Crystal Enterprise. In the Tool Tip Text text box, you can specify the text that you would like to have displayed in the small text box that appears when a user hovers their mouse pointer over this report object. Checking the Read Only checkbox will prevent additional formatting alterations from being applied to the selected object in the future. It does not, however, apply any type of report security. Checking the Lock, Position, and Size checkbox will ensure that a user does not resize or move the selected report object in the future. Checking the Suppress checkbox will suppress the selected object from appearing in both the preview of the report as well as the printed output. You can check the Suppress if Duplicated checkbox to suppress the display and printing of duplicate values in a field of data. Checking the Suppress Embedded Field Blank Lines checkbox will suppress the display and printing of any blank values of a field embedded within a text field. Checking the Can Grow checkbox will ensure that the object which may appear within the report with a variable length will be able to expand the field size vertically to accommodate all of the text. After checking this option, you can specify a limit in lines for the vertical growth in the maximum number of lines text box. If you leave it at zero, then the field can grow as large as necessary to display the data. You can use the text rotation dropdown to specify either a rotation of 90 or 270 degrees for the text contained in the selected object. If you're using cascading style sheets to apply formatting to reports, you can type the class name for the selected object into the CSS class name text box. Class names are used by cascading style sheets or CSS to define and apply a pre-created format or style to the selected report object. Checking the Repeat on Horizontal Pages checkbox allows you to repeat objects like report titles, for example, across horizontal pages in reports that contain horizontal page breaks, like the ones created by some cross-tab or OLAP reports. Checking the Keep Object Together checkbox will prevent breaking the content of the object with a page break when it's printed. Checking the Close Border on Page Break checkbox will ensure that if an object with an applied border is split with a page break when printed, the border will appear closed at the end of the page. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.